I see an interesting thing that we're sitting in this little, what do you call this, golf cart? These are our golf carts. I see, I, I say it's interesting because there are basically more of these than there are cars. They are. They're the right size for the streets and they aren't allowed into the interior. The reason there are any cars at all, the interior roads are lots of dirt and very, very rugged, and so the golf carts aren't allowed there. But to get around town, they're absolutely perfect. When is the best time to come to Catalina? I always recommend what I call our secret summer. A secret summer? Secret summer, and that is after Labor Day. Once kids go back into school, we normally have that beautiful Indian summer. The water's still warm. The beaches are empty during the week. Now our weekends will stay busy. There's art festivals, jazz festivals, all kinds of things going on the weekend. But if you really want a, a beautiful weather and a very, very quiet time, the midweek days are wonderful in September, October, and November. We're standing outside a very beautiful building in an absolutely wonderful location here. First of all, tell me, what exactly are we standing by? This is the Catalina Visitors Country Club. It was built in 1937 as a clubhouse for the Chicago Cubs, and the Cubs spring trained on the island actually from the 1920s up into the 1950s, and then they resumed, uh, then they went to Arizona after that. <laughs> what an incredible place to change. I mean, uh, the people who love baseball must certainly want to come here. It has so much history, and it must have been wonderful for the players, because prior to that, they were in training in the snow in French Lake, Indiana. So then they and their families were invited here for spring training uh, out from Chicago, and they would spend three or four months here during, during the spring. And I guess, once again, Mr. Wrigley had a hand in all this. He owned the Chicago Cubs. He had broken no them. He had lots of nice toys. <laughs> and, and they were his beloved Cubs. They, they were, um, you know, a very treasured item. And they did come here in spring train, and um, there were a lot of promotional things talking about the Cubs being on the island. So it also tied into the island and people wanting to visit then and come over to watch the games. I see right behind us, not only is it beautiful scenery, but uh, it looks to me like there might be some sort of a golf course. There's, it's actually the oldest golf course we hear west of the Rockies, and it's a nine uh, hole executive golf course, they call it. It's very tricky, um, but it's a beautiful golf course, and along the way you'll sometimes see fox and occasionally a buffalo will cross, and it's a pretty interesting hazards out there. <laughs> Yeah. You're playing you're playing golf with buffaloes? Yeah, just every once in a while. They now have them fenced off, but frequently you would see herds of them laying out on the golf course. Um, they're going to go to 18 holes, um, yes, and that, that's been on the boards for a while. There's always been a fresh water issue, and um, that's probably what held it back. But um, And at one time it was 18, but then they used to just oil the greens. They weren't even grass. Oil? They would oil the greens as far as no water. <laughs> we're standing in the, I think, beautiful Catalina Island Inn, and we're talking to Aaliyah, the manager. Tell us just a little bit about this, because I know this is a very popular place. Yeah, um, well, the hotel was built in 1907. Um, 1907? 1907. Wow, you've done a lot of modernization. Yes, we have. <laughs> this is actually the six remodel we just got finished. Um, the six? The six, um, in June. Um, and everything was remodeled from paint, um, carpet, beds, linens, mattresses, furniture. Everything was redone. Um, some of our bathrooms were redone. We have 36 rooms in the hotel. Basically, how far are we from the Southern California coast? Well, the song says 26 miles, but apparently it's closer to 21 miles, which is about the length, same length as the island is. You mentioned William Wrigley. I know a lot of people, uh, I think, consider this this was his home i mean what, what did he buy this for no one knows the actual price he actually bought into it sight unseen and then sight unseen boy he had the money though right he did he had made his money on the chewing gum he was from chicago he wintered in pasadena and it was a pasadena real estate company that asked him to invest in the island so he did and then the word is that two three days later he came over to see what he had invested in, absolutely loved it, fell in love with it, and went back and bought out all the partners at separate times. So that's why they don't quite know what the dollar price is, but they think around three million. <laughs> three million? Uh -huh. 
In what year was that? That would have been 1919. And of course, our but houses in, go for three million and up now. <laughs> he bought the whole lot. Wow! But th yeah. that was a lot of money. Then. <laughs>